I really just want to start this video and see if we could take a second to appreciate and be grateful for how great life is, or specifically our lives because I live my life. I can only talk about my own life. Um, because honestly, we say this all the time, me and Erasmus are so, so grateful. Stevie! Hey, this here guy. he is. I love this you guy. You guys talking about happy? Happy? Look yeah. how happy he yeah, is. Yeah, he's always His happy. tail's always wagging. Hi. But we do often talk about just how amazing our lives are. And it transcends in the way we act. So because our lives are so amazing, we're so happy all the time, so positive all the time. But I just realized people have amazing lives, but they just be negative and shitty. So that's not the reason we're happy. It's because of our mindsets. So then we create these great lives. The topic of this video was partly on what I started with. Does money make you happy? Now, that's what we're gonna talk about. There's a lot to say on this topic, but I also wanted to just talk about how fucking epic our lives have become now, uh, because it's honestly really fucking crazy. For example, well, we just had our ads made. We've been talking about this. I'm just gonna play the ad real quick. Welcome to this ad, we are the Mickelson Twins. And in the next 30 seconds, we're about to show you why we're sitting here dressed as unicorns, singing to you when we have no idea what we're doing. Mwah. Our life literally feels like a movie. We travel the world, exploring the craziest places, with the most amazing people, eating the best food. And it's not because we're special or we were born with rich parents. It's because we made the decision to not be average. So my name is Rasmus Mickelson. My name is Christian Mickelson and we are the Mickelson twins. We're 23 year old college dropouts and since then we've gone on to build multiple six figure businesses but it's not always been this way. Two years ago before we ever discovered what online business was we were living at home with our parents back in New Jersey taking college classes and working jobs delivering Chinese food and just accepting the path that had been laid out for us in life. <laughs> And if there's one thing we've learned on our journey so far, it's that these people you see on the internet living these dope ass lives, they didn't just accept the path they were given. They had to go against what everyone else was doing. Everything they were being told in college, by their parents, and by everyone else around them. So that's what we did. We're on the ocean swimming around. We dropped out and worked our asses off to prove that there's much more to life than going to college, working a nine to five job that you hate for 40 years. That was insane. So instead, we'll be spending our next 40 years doing what we love and we're here to show you exactly how you can do the same thing. So our mission is to show people what's possible and provide the guidance you need to achieve the life of your dream. And if you want to join us and learn exactly how to do that, then subscribe to our channel somewhere here on this page. Share this video with your friends, your family, anyone you think that could benefit from this. And we will see you guys on our channel. All right, so that's the ad that we've been working on, uh, creating over the last few weeks. And it's to grow our YouTube channel, right? But I just want to say that that video, it looks like it looks a like fucking a fucking movie, first it look, of all. It looks like a fucking movie. It looks like, holy shit, these guys are trying to paint a picture that's not real. They're just trying to make their lives look epic. They're trying to whatever. Yeah. They're just trying to sell themselves by creating this fucking sick video montage and then sell them how to do that, mm -hmm. basically. But everything in that video, all the footage is obviously real. Everything we say is so real, the transformation is so real, and like, I feel like this video actually, it actually depicts how I actually feel. Yeah. My life actually feels that way. It um, does feel like a movie. So, yeah, that ad, what we just wanted to say on that is there is nothing, nothing fake about it. Mm -hmm. It's all so fucking real. It's all so real. Yeah, like, the transformation, all the voiceover, uh, all the clips, how I watch them just like, yes, that's what my life has been these past two years since we got started an online business. Because yeah. it's been fucking insane. It's really funny. I know that when we start playing this everywhere, people uh, are totally gonna. Oh, we're gonna get so much hate. Yeah. We're gonna get so much hate. And like, it doesn't bother me. Here's but I just, I'm ready for it and I know it. And it's yeah. just, it is what it is. You yeah. can't prevent no, it. No, you can't Especially prevent when you have, it. when you have Christian walking up the camera <laughs> yeah. doing this. And, and motorboating to the Yeah. 
So, but on that note, like, yeah, it definitely will get hate, but something both of us very good at is not letting anything like that ever get to us. Like, it genuinely never bothers me. It never takes up any real estate in my head. And it's simply because my life is so amazing and I'm so happy and positive all there's the time. There's that and there's also this. There's these two other reasons. Then there's we have each other to convince each other otherwise. And then there's the big one that I know the shit they're saying is not it's true. Exactly. It's exactly. not true. That's a, and it's, it's just hate that's a because one. they it's feel, jealousy. A certain way, they feel, feel a certain way about themselves. Yeah. yeah. So, so I all. don't <laughs> feel any negative way on myself. Exactly. Like exactly. Uh, it's just self-reflection. So, but should we get into the topic of the video? Yeah. So this all does come full circle. Yeah. Does money actually make you happy oh yeah another thing right? another thing i want to say about the f the mm -hmm. fake and real mm -hmm. ad thing like it looks like oh we're epic <coughs> we're balling out a lot of people they could make something like this but they're actually broke and struggling mm -hmm. we are not broke at all we're not struggling at all finances are great nowhere near where i want to be so but i know what it's like to be financially comfortable mm -hmm. so that's how that's why we can talk on this yeah. and because of that life is good but we'll get into that mm -hmm. that's part of answering the question mm -hmm. does money actually make you happy we talk about this but yeah. it's not like we, i know how you feel about it not exactly yeah. so let's just start right off the bat uh -huh. yes no uh -huh. no directly money does not make you happy no not directly but then there's the other side of the coin where the answer is yes money does make you happy it has a massive correlation a massive yeah happiness. is it the money that makes you happy no is there a very strong correlation mm -hmm. between money and happiness but then there's a yes. type of person where no matter how much money they have money mm -hmm. does not make you happy mm -hmm. if you are shitty uh negative pessimistic and use if you're pessimistic optimistic versus pessimistic yeah. if you're pessimistic all the time and you make a lot of money you will not be more happy uh -huh. you'll just not have those same problems you had about having to eat ramen uh -huh. instead you can eat steak like you'll still be pessimistic and depressed and sad and pissed off yeah. and i want to say this about myself so we've told a lot about our story and what our life used to be like in our past mm -hmm. and i did not like my life but i was never i was never yeah. depressed yeah and we Both. never never like unhappy i was yeah. very not satisfied and i wasn't liking my day to day but was i was never truly unhappy the thing is and look here's something it's it's really weird because um when back when i was going to college and had a job whatever everything that you would think about what i hate i say now i hate that sort of life and i was living that life i still remember telling myself i still remember telling myself like even because even though my life is not lit i still enjoy my life and that was just exactly. me but I think there's one thing that contributed to that. Because that was just when we started getting into entrepreneurship online business, and it was the hope that I had for the future. Mm. I was like, life is this way right now, and mm. it's not dope, but I have hope that it will be super epic. Uh -huh. And just the thought of the oh, hope yeah. makes you just really made happy exciting. and makes you excited and yeah. want to wake up in the morning. Yeah. So actually, when you look back, we have always been happy. Yeah. Always been happy, but not satisfied. So that's but just that's just our default. We just are those people. We are very, very unusually positive people. So is that a way? Are you born that way? Are you raised that way? I don't know. So like, for example, both of us. I don't know. Both of us, we have this uncanny ability to find the positive in everything. Mm -hmm. Anything bad, like I'll find the positive. And like, that's just the way I am. I enjoy being that way. I think that plays a big role in why I'm so happy. But does the money make you happy? The answer is yes and no. It, de it depends on the person. It, de but for it us, depends on the person. That's the answer. For us, already as like positive thinking people, mm -hmm. it just made it way yeah, it, more it, sicker. It, it just made it way dope. It extrapolated. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. It exponentiated it? Yeah, exponentiated yeah. it. Exponentiated yeah. it. So right now, from before and after, I am way way happier but it's not because yeah of direct directly because of money it's more like having money sitting in your bank account it releases stress Ooh, it I, gets rid of it gets rid of it and it's just like oh i don't have to worry about that and then when we go out to eat like i literally i don't look at prices mm -hmm. i just fucking what's the price i put it down and it just feels good. I don't have to worry about, oh, can I get a drink today or should yeah. I just drink water? When it comes to money, there's a certain point where it's really fucking stressful and when mm -hmm. you don't have much, enough money, you're just like always stressed. But it, when you get beyond that, I feel like that's the biggest difference in mm -hmm. your happiness level. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. you get beyond the point where you don't have to stress about money, because I remember we were there, at least I was there mm -hmm. a few months ago, right? And it's just a constant 
pressure on your fucking shoulders. Like, mm -hmm. also, well, kind of with the taxes thing, we didn't know how much we owed, oh, so that yeah. was really stressful. Yeah, that was stressful, yeah. yeah. Because we had made all this money, but we hadn't paid taxes on any of it. And we had so, spent quite a lot. And so people, I was like, fuck, did we spend everything? Do we owe like $20,000? You know? Or, and no, more. I thought it was more. $30,000. Like, turns out, long story short, no. Uh, bank accounts as fat as ever. But yeah, that was very, very stressful. Even though we were living yeah. here. I hate, to, I hate to be the guy that's just like fucking flexing, saying my life is fucking awesome. But like, I'm, sorry. Like, I'm just being truthful. Like, it's so truthful what I'm saying. I'm not trying to pretend. Anything because remember, we also made a video like a month and a half ago talking about like how we're fucking up. Like, that's just the truth, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, we're just speaking the truth. Oh, yeah, you can go back and watch that video. It was basically a us video of us fuck. very frustrated, just shitting on ourselves, mm -hmm. basically telling us that, yeah, we're fucking off. No. I will never pretend that my life is a certain way when it's not. Uh huh. Does the money make you happy? It's obviously not the money directly. I've said that. It's the freedom that it creates. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to bring up an example. Mm -hmm. So my girlfriend's birthday is in a few days and she loves Ed Sheeran. So just because I have some money sitting in my bank account, I can just buy her Ed Sheeran tickets and then there's some other place in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So we just fly there. I hope she doesn't hear this. Fly there. That's what I was looking out for. It's your in concert, fly back the same day. She becomes so happy. Like, she wants to go to this so badly. She's looking at it every day. Like, she loves Ed Sheeran. And if you didn't have money, you couldn't do that. It's going to be this amazing experience that we get to experience together. Mm -hmm. you, you notice what I love spending money on now? Or, like, once I have more, what I want to spend it on? Mm -hmm. Right? In the end, it comes back to making yourself happy. Mm -hmm. And people say, like, philanthropy philanthropy and giving to charity is like the most selfish thing you can do because mm -hmm. you give so much to other people and it just makes yourself feel so good like oh yeah. I just did these uh, a, things a lot of people, people will you said it you said that so casually mm -hmm. and so nonchalantly mm -hmm. people will not understand what you said oh because you just said not. some people say the most selfish thing you can do is be a philanthropist yeah yeah that's I know that's, that's mind-blowing to people oh it's because a lot of people don't all the time. They, a lot of people don't understand perspective yeah like there's only one way to look at something mm -hmm. you can look at philanthropy is the most selfish thing you could do yeah because it's the most satisfying thing for yourself yeah it feels so good to help other people mm -hmm. that's why you do it so it makes you selfish now you're not actually selfish because no, of it of but not. it's a perspective that you could take on it but that's sort of what I was going on I like I, I like spending my money on other people mm -hmm. making other people happy and showing them like mm -hmm. how sick life can be and whatever mm -hmm. And then that just makes me feel really good. That brings me more happiness than that the money directly could give me uh -huh. in a Lamborghini or whatever. Yeah. Right? So, like, on our day-to-day -day lives, we honestly do not spend a lot of money. No. So, not living uh, here in Bali. Per month, no more than 3K a month. Now, like, food, we eat out twice a day. Zero budget for food. Uh -huh. I just fucking... I, I don't I do not care it, like it that that's one of the best things ever this place is like 12 1300 a month the for the each of us including yeah. electricity yeah. Uh, So that's not much and then yeah, around 3k the things I'll always spend money on is food and my home because I spend most of my time in my home Yeah, we work from home. So those two things mm -hmm. I have a very yeah. large budget on yeah. So and a lot of other things I don't need at all. So this also proves you could ball the fuck out on 3k a month mm -hmm. Okay, but we do spend a shitload of money. Yeah. We spend a shitload of money on the business. On the business. On so the that's business. where we spend all our money on investing in books. We'll like casually do eight to ten thousand dollar book orders. We want to do a new one real soon. But what we're really gonna spend so much money on is these fucking ads. Promoting that, you that saw. ad you just saw earlier in this video. So our budget is ten thousand dollars a month. That's our starting budget. That's our budget. But in reality. There is no budget. Like, it's literally spend as much on these ads as we possibly can. So we literally have like 50K in the bank ready for just these ads to blow up Nicholson Twins, whatever. But in reality, there isn't a budget because every dollar that we spend on this, is gonna we're make making more. at least 10 back. Mm -hmm. At least 10 back. Mm -hmm. um, and we can make another video explaining why that's the case. Because we're not even selling anything. It's just an ad to go to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And of but course, there we indirectly sell. Yeah, our stuff. YouTube channel is heavily monetized, not through ads or anything. And mm -hmm. we don't even sell anything directly. We don't push shit. Mm -hmm. We just say we have things, and if you want it, you can get it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just know every dollar we spend is gonna make us a lot more money back. I also wanna get off topic. Sorry, sorry, so, sorry, sorry. two things that I still wanna cover about the does money make you happy. My perspective, does money make you happy? Final answer depends on the person. Well, okay, that's your answer. My answer is if you are a positive, already happy person, then yes, it will make you much happier. Much happier. But you're already much. happy to an extent in the first place. But if it, you makes are you way, it makes you way happier. Yeah. It makes you euphorically happy. Yeah. 
And if you are a negative, pessimistic person, I think it Maybe? will um, it will make you happier, but it will not make you happy if you aren't down in the first place. You you need to do some self reflection. It will make you enjoy life more, but it will not make you happy. It won't give yeah. you that fucking chemicals in your brain because yeah. it's a real chemical thing. Yeah. Happiness, right? Where you need to do some mindset transformation stuff. Yeah. Like so, for these negative, pessimistic, depressed people, it might. I don't know because I don't have any experience with this. I've never been depressed in my life. It might make it worse. It just might. I don't know. For some people, it probably will. Because when you have more money, your problems be become bigger problems, but they're better problems. Again, we have not gotten to that point. Like, we're financially free, but we don't have a lot of money like that. And, like, just 1% of where we want to be in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. The other point that I want to say, and this is huge, and you'll... Okay. This, this could go on forever talking about this. Okay. So here's something that I learned. In my life, my main motivation was to make a lot of money mm -hmm. because that will make me happier and it has and like it still is that way to an extent but a few months ago I got my first girlfriend right her name is Laura and just she has changed my perspective on happiness and money in the sense that for now happiness will not come from being as successful as I can be mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. I've learned that I can make much less money than I thought and then just be happy with the people around me. Yep. That it's the relationships you have in your life that make you happier than anything. More than money is the relationships. So the question was, does money make you happy? But then the question, what makes, you, what makes people the most happy in the world? I believe, I feel confident that the answer to this is the people around you. The connection, the human connections that you have. The relationships I, you have in yeah, your life. That's like an innate thing that mm -hmm. humans need. And I think that is what makes people the happiest. Mm -hmm. Is so if you're surrounded by Th shitty people in a shitty environment, you will hate your life and be depressed. But if like you're surrounded by amazing people, positive, fun, just incredible, giving people, mm -hmm. I don't think I think you could be living in like a straw hut. You couldn't help but yeah. still enjoy it. But think about why it is that you want to have a lot of money. Okay, so I want to have a lot of money so that I can buy Lamborghini. I want to have a Lamborghini so that I can look a certain way and impress other people mm. and attract other people into my life. Yeah. The relationships is like the core yeah. motivation behind anything you do in life. Yeah, 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 exactly. You, you make, you, you want to impress others, you, you want to show yes, others. Yes, If It you're all has to do with other people. If you're on a deserted island, maybe it'll be cool to have a Lamborghini for one day. If you're the only person on that island, yeah. you won't give one shit about that Lamborghini after you, the first day. You will not drive it around. It won't fucking matter at yeah. all. Yeah. It's nothing to do with you. It's not the car. So the camera just overheated. I'm gonna try and continue where we left off. I was talking about the car and that it's not the car itself that makes you happy. The motivation of getting that car is to attract other people into your life. The main motivator of basically anything you do in your life is to build relationships with other people. That's yes. Really what? Mal. 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 Oh, that thing has a snapped up tail. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry about that. That's right. So, uh, a, few things, a few things we wanted Stevie. to end on before Come we here. end this video. Stevie, Stevie. All right, now, now this is getting all over the place. Yeah. It's, oh, he's gonna kill that cat. He's gonna eat it. Uh oh. One last point that I want to make about the if you're happy, it'll make you happier. If you're not happy, it won't even make you happy, right? We've talked a lot about a guy named Mangaji, and he has a video talking about this subject, right? And he says this that his whole life he has never really been truly happy, and he totally thought that, um, like, once I make more money and millions of dollars, I'm gonna be so happy. Like, that will solve all my problems. So he was making money, and then he bought expensive jewelry, he bought all this cool shit. And like it wasn't making him happier. He's like, what the fuck? And then in the end, he had like one ultimate goal, which was I I have my dream apartment in the center of London. And if this place does not make me happy, nothing in the world will ever make me happy. This was his dream. And it turns out when he did, he did eventually get this apartment. He moved in. It was fucking epic for the first few days, first week. And then it wore off and he was exactly back to feeling the way he felt before. He said that was the most painful experience he'd ever gone through in his life because it just made him realize that money is not going to solve the problems he has with you know the way he feels and Becoming his mind happy. and stuff like that i think that's the perfect example to show that money will not make you happy if you're not if right up here right exactly it all comes back to your mindset mm -hmm. right yeah anything else you wanted to say yes oh last thing okay if there's one thing if you could break it down to one thing that actually makes you happy can i tell them the secret yeah. all right if you really want to be happy, okay, I'm going to show you because it's a thing we have here. Okay. 
if you really want to be happy, okay, get your get your toenails done. Oh my god. Look at this. This was the most life changing yeah. thing I've ever done. The way you feel. Golden toenails. sparkly toenails. I feel like, I just feel like the fucking candle. I walk around with my chest out. Yeah, I finally feel glamorous. Like uh -huh. I feel, I finally look the way I feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's insane. So, yeah. The goal with our channel is simply to help make you and everyone else as happy as possible. When you boil it down, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. But in honor of sparkly toenails, drop that, drop that, the, the finger paint emoji. If you watch the video to the end, that one, that one. Yes. The nail polish emoji. Yes. But that's in this video. This was a long one. You watch the end. Fuck yeah. I love you. You're awesome. And yeah, I have one more thing to say. I hope this video will motivate you to take action and like build your online business and then live a life similar to what we have because it is as amazing as it looks. Yes. It's absolutely insane. Yes. And this shit's real. There's nothing fake about it. Goodbye.